Elvis Presley, who was Elvis Presley, on the tune of Love Me Tender. So we all know who Elvis Presley is. He's that famous dude who can do a lot of things he wants and just like a click of his fingers. He has that great mansion and that really is great. Well, yes, he is that guy. But also, he's the sh he was a shy boy who was sometimes teased by his classmates. And he was the singer who became famous at the age of 21. And he was known around the world as King of Rock and Roll. Because he was the first superstar of rock and roll. He may not be, have been the first rock and roll person, but he was the first superstar. Which made him the king of rock and roll. And also, accidentally made people go, people go rebel against their parents about their music, about music. They say, then people say, rock and roll is too wild. It is for dogs. Yeah, probably. It's for bloodhounds. And probably those bloodhounds mean people like Elvis's hairstyle, hip shaker, which I think is which I think is way better for looks a bit way better when girls do it, in my opinion, but also pretty good for Elvis. And AC Elvis wore even pink suited him and looked pretty good because anything on him, even Michael Jackson's sunglasses, mm, will probably have a look good on him. And the only thing I don't really like on the look of Elvis Presley is how his face is drawn here and also his Ducktail hairstyle, greased ducktail hairstyle, is one thing. <laughs> and also being one of the hits, one of the greatest hits of all time, was good. But Elvis wasn't always this rich. In fact, he, he was born poor. Gla Gladys Presley gave birth to twin to twins. She had birth to uh, Jesse Garen Presley, who died just after his birth and then when they realized there was another baby inside her which was a twin it came out and it became elvis aaron presley he was born in tupelo of mississippi he elvis was born during the great depression so his father lost and gained lost and gained jobs but he did gain a job made enough to buy a house they bought the they bought a house and they just lived in it. If they lost a job, they tried to get a lot of money to just at least rent a place for a while until he got a job. On Elvis's eleventh birthday, he got a guitar, which helped him make his singing way better. And that is a pretty good thing here. He even learned how to do a lot of playing guitars and. He started hanging out a willow of a local radio station. Eventually, he decided to create his own records at the Sun Studios. Eventually, being trying to be part of a band, and after a concert, he actually went too much to it. Like saying, girls, I'll see you backstage. And then he just went backstage, and all the girls were like, yay, we can go backstage. He came with permission and just squeezed through all of them, squeezed through the window, and tore away Elvis's shirt, Elvis's coat, and tried to take away his pants, which is a bit too much, in my opinion. Except, except trying for his boots. Uh, well, but Elvis luckily managed to hold on to his pants and almost lost his guitar, by the way. Fast forward a few years, he decided he started being inside a show, in TV shows, and started a comeback. The in the Ed Sullivan show, Elvis starred in it and almost shaked his hip again. But everybody, but all the parents are like, we will not watch the Ed Sullivan show ever again if, well, El, well, okay, maybe they didn't do it, but the producers of, producers of the Ed Sullivan show, well, they didn't really like that hitch. Hip, well, shaking the hip thing, so they just showed it from waist up, which would have, didn't really help Elvis a lot. And he became the second James Dean, but eventually he was drafted. And when his mother died, he grieved. Everybody took photos of him grieving, saying, "This is the next greatest thing, grieving Elvis Presley." Or 
maybe it's something less ha that well more depressing, but still, Elvis was still a good person. He kept on recording and recording, and eventually he came a comeback at Las Vegas show in seven years. He did hadn't had a hit for seven years, and now that he had a hit, it was going to be good. But then Elvis started growing sicker. He didn't take care of himself more, and he just left concerts, stopped concerts in the mid-time. He started forgetting all his words. Eventually, he got addicted to drugs and died at Graceland, his family mansion. Today, Elvis Presley's mansion, the Graceland, is a tourist, a very good tourist attraction. And, and it's still being visited by a lot of people even today. But all I'm going to say about it is that what Elvis achieved for rock and roll and its beginnings was a great impact. Just like how Steve Jobs affected technology, Elvis Presley affected, affected music in the same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next episode. So now, now peace. Love, be tender.